Black holes could give us clues about dark energy, and the expanding universe. New research suggests that using gravitational waves from the collisions of distant black holes could solve one of the most troubling aspects of cosmology, the rate of expansion of the universe, known as the Hubble constant. There are two standard ways of measuring the Hubble constant. The global method involves the use of the cosmic microwave background CMB, fossil radiation left over from the Big Bang that uniformly fills the universe and reveals the expansion of the universe at earlier times in history. On a local scale, type IA supernovas, also known as standard candles due to their uniform energy output, are used to measure the Hubble constant and the more recent expansion rate of the universe. Black holes are confusing. The problem? Using different methods for measuring the Hubble constant delivers different results. The value of the Hubble constant provided by standard candles is much higher than the value CMB observations have given. This sounds like it should have a simple solution. One method must be giving an inaccurate result, surely? But, that isn't the case. Perfecting these methods hasn't closed this gap, but has instead further widened the chasm. This problem has become known as the Hubble tension. Astrophysicists from the University of Chicago suggest a new method for measuring the Hubble constant and the expansion rate of the universe, with the hope it could resolve the Hubble tension. This new technique doesn't use the cosmic microwave background or supernovas, but instead capitalizes on gravitational waves launched by distant black holes as they clash together. The expansion of the universe has always been concerning to physicists, especially since it was discovered that rather than slowing down, it is accelerating. The mysterious force that is driving this acceleration has been given the placeholder name, dark energy. If the matter in the universe is finite, physicists expected that its expansion would eventually stop and the universe would recollapse. astrophysicist Luz Angela Garcia of the Universidad ECCI in Bogota, Colombia, tells Popular Mechanics. In 1998, two independent groups that used two sets of supernova type IA found that the universe was not only expanding, but it was doing so at an accelerated rate. She adds that this means other galaxies are speeding up their movement away from us, and each other. And the further they are away, the more rapidly they recede. In the more recent era of cosmic history, the universe's expansion is accelerating, University of Geneva cosmologist, Lucas Lombreiser, tells Popular Mechanics. If we measure the current expansion rate using observations of closer objects like supernovas, therefore, testing the more recent universe, we end up with a Hubble constant that is significantly larger than its counterpart inferred from the early universe and the CMB. The tension between the two measurements is now at a significance level that can no longer be ignored. Why the expanding universe is a growing problem. To picture why the accelerating expansion of the universe is so troubling, picture a mundane and everyday analogy, pushing a child on a normal playground swing. As time from the initial single push passes, the child's swing reaches lower points. Then, as the swing comes to a stop, it suddenly begins swinging again, without a push, reaching higher and higher points. That's similar to the universe slowing after its period of early rapid expansion, which we call the Big Bang, only to begin rapidly expanding again and speeding up. This accelerating expansion is only predicted by our model of gravity if there is something that was overtaking the strength of gravity at large scales and causing a negative pressure, Garcia says. That is dark energy. Dark energy can't be ignored because to keep the expansion of the universe speeding up, it has to account for at least 68% of all of the matter and energy in the universe. The community is puzzled by the results. We can either claim the techniques could be further refined to get closer values for the Hubble constant, or we could improve the models we use to calibrate the observations, Garcia adds. There is a third possibility that could be considered, a variable Hubble rate at different epochs of the universe, implying that the contribution of dark energy is not a constant, but it varies over time. And one way of looking back in time is by studying gravitational waves launched by distant events.